Hey everyone, today I will be teaching you how to make a Red Lobster's copycat meal. We will be trying to make some of their most famous items and some of my favorite dishes from Red Lobster. So the items that we will make are the shrimp linguine alfredo, the cheddar bay biscuits, shrimp scampi, and finally some snow crab legs. I'm super excited to show you guys how to make this so let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by making the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. In a large bowl, sift together one and one half cup of self-rising flour, one half cup of all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Now shred one third cup of frozen butter into your dry ingredients. Whisk the butter into the dry ingredients until well combined. Now add 3 fourths cup of sharp or mild cheddar cheese. I kind of added a mixture of both. Then add 3 fourths cup of cold water. Mix the water into the mixture. For this I whipped out my wooden grandma spoon. Now add 1 4th cup of buttermilk. Mix your ingredients gently until just blended. Make sure not to overmix or the biscuits won't become flaky. By the way, you can add the water and the buttermilk at the same time before mixing everything together. Now scoop out 1 4th cup of the dough onto a baking sheet. Now bake your biscuits in the oven at 425 degrees for 14 to 15 minutes. When your biscuits are finished cooking, place them on a cooling rack. After that, melt 1 4th cup of butter. Then pour that melted butter into a small bowl. After that, add 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 8th teaspoon of onion powder, and 1 4th teaspoon of parsley. Mix everything together until well combined and you are finished with the butter. Now simply brush your butter mixture onto your biscuits and you are all finished. Now we're going to make our shrimp scampi. In a large pan, melt some butter over medium heat. Cook around 5 pieces of shrimp. I already de-veined and de-shelled these pieces of shrimp, however I left the tail on. Cook your shrimp for about 5 to 7 minutes.
When your shrimp are finished cooking, take them out of the pan. Then, in a small saucepan, melt a tablespoon of butter over medium heat. Once your butter has melted, add one tablespoon of minced garlic. Cook the garlic for two to three minutes. Then add a half a cup of chicken broth. After that, add one or one half tablespoon of lemon juice. Cook everything together until the broth has reduced to half. Reduce the heat to low and then add a half a stick of butter or one fourth cup of butter. If your saucepan is too hot, the butter will separate. Once the butter has melted, add 1 4 teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Mix everything until well combined. Now, set your butter sauce to the side. Place the shrimp that we cooked previously into a dish. Then, add your butter sauce. Reheat your butter sauce if needed. And that's it! You are all finished with your shrimp scampi! Now we're going to make our shrimp linguine alfredo. In a large pot of water, add salt. Bring the pot to a boil and then add linguine noodles. Cook the noodles for however long the box says to. Once your noodles are finished cooking, drain the water and set the noodles to the side. Now in a large pan, add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Then cook around 6 to 7 shrimp over medium heat. Lightly season the shrimp with a bit of pepper. When your shrimp are finished cooking, take them out of the pan. Now add 1 3rd cup of diced onions and proceed to saute your onions for about 1 to 2 minutes. After that, add a tablespoon of minced garlic. Then saute the garlic and onions for another minute. After that, add 1 3rd cup of chicken broth. Then melt 2 tablespoons of butter into the chicken broth. After the butter has melted, add 2 cups of heavy whipping cream. Bring your mixture to a low simmer and then add 1 3rd cup of Parmesan cheese. When your sauces become thicker, lower the heat. Then add 1 8 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 8 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 8 teaspoon of pepper, 1 8 teaspoon of salt, and 1 8 teaspoon of Creole seasoning. Once all your seasonings are mixed in, add 1 or 1 half tablespoon of lemon juice. After that, your alfredo sauce is all finished. Go ahead and add your linguine noodles.
After I added the linguine noodles, I added a bit more Parmesan cheese. And about the shrimp we cooked before, you can either add it into your pasta or you can add it on top when you plate it up. And after that, you are all finished. Now we're gonna move on to the snow crabs. In a large pot of water, add two tablespoons of vinegar. The vinegar is gonna make the crab legs easier to pick and break open. Then add one tablespoon of liquid seafood boil. Bring the water to a boil and then add your snow crab legs. Cook your crab legs for five minutes. In another pot of water, boil some broccoli. We're cooking broccoli because usually when you go to Red Lobsters, they give you the option of sides and it's either like broccoli or fries. Boil your broccoli for about one to two minutes and then take them out of the pot. Now that everything's cooked and ready to go, we can finally plate everything up. And here is the finished product. It looks so beautiful. I am so proud of this meal. It looks colorful, delicious, beautiful, and it totally looks better than Red Lobster's if I do say so myself. I really like the butter sauce I made for the shrimp scampi. Mom especially liked it when she ate it, so I know it's delicious. Everything came out well, which I'm super happy about. The linguine was especially good. It's, it was like one of my favorites, but it's one of my favorites at Red Lobster's too, so I'm not really surprised. The cheddar biscuits were awesome too. I ate like two while I was cooking, so they were like really good. I had so much fun cooking all of this, and the outcome was beautiful. I'm just really proud of it. All right, that's it for this video. Everything I used in this video, including the recipes I used for the shrimp scampi, the cheddar biscuits, and the linguine will be linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!